Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So for those who are new to this, if you've never seen these segments before, look down in the description for a brief summary. To everyone else, I have to apologize that we have to do things a little bit different, and we're going to kind of speed through things here pretty quick, um, because last night was really rough for me. I, I went to bed like around at one and then at two I woke up and I literally thought I was going to have to be hauled away in an ambulance because I couldn't breathe. I think I may have had an allergic reaction to something I ate, but that's never happened in my life before. But um, so I don't know what to compare it to except what I've seen on TV. But um, I, I couldn't breathe. My throat felt like it was very um, like tight, like closed. And uh, I had to remain calm and only breathe through my nose. I tried drinking fluids and I could, but it felt like, I don't know if you've ever had strep throat before, where it's so bad where you try and drink stuff, it's painful. And that's exactly how it was. Plus, I was having like chest pains and whatnot. I don't think it's the virus thing. I didn't have, you know, a fever or anything. And then after about like 15 minutes or so it, it it was dying down um it's still sore i haven't been talking at all today to try and save it for the video so um the chest pains went away too still no fever my head is sorely because i got no sleep and i had a lot of errands to run today so i'm going to go through everything here pretty quick i'm going to spend like 10 to 20 seconds on each thing and then we're just going to kind of you know move on from one to the other there's only one new thing that's here this week. Everything else is just an update of something that already exists. And chances are I've covered it before in the past anyway. And then hopefully next week, things will get back um, <clears throat> to normal. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it and get started. So we are going to go to the PS3 scene where our first stop brings us to PS3 Brewology. And there's quite a few things here that have been updated, starting with Irisman, which is a game manager that has been around for ever uh, almost as long as multi-man or right around the same time or so. And really it was multi-man and then this and eventually over the last couple of years to a few years, Mana Guns has moved into its own as well. And really, I just use multi man and Mana Guns, but Iris Man is still a good choice right out the box and TFS support as well. Uh, and the same developer also updated Mamba for those of you interested in that. Mamba is kind of a it's Cobra, but as a separate payload. You use that when you have custom firmware that doesn't come with Cobra. Next up is C Cappy that's been updated to 486. Uh, Movian and Showtime both have been updated. Artemis has been updated to 486. Simple File Manager has been updated. The interesting thing here is that apparently it supports XFAT and FAT file systems. It's a work in progress but I'm curious to see how well or not well that works. I mean, you guys can try it out and let us know. And lastly, the control fan utility gets updated to work for 486. I am going to make a video very soon on why no one should ever use any fan control utility or, or any type of fan mod on any console. Um, it, because your fan is the check engine light of your console. You shouldn't be messing with it. In that video, I'm going to explain why. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so next up is a tool that's for your PC, but it's designed for the PS3. It's XForge PSQRC tool, and this allows you to modify and change various aspects of the XMB. So these aspects are things like your waves. You can change the colors, maybe change the style and things like that. Now, we're not talking about just simply replacing, you know, the file on your PS3. You can actually open up the lines QRC file and start messing with, um, you know, the different colors. There's also things like uh, the PS3 has certain quote unquote colors of the month. It has a daytime color and a nighttime color for those months. And you can mess with those. You can mess with the little sparkle thingies, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So you do need to know, though, uh, a little bit uh, about what you're doing before you mess with all this stuff. But I, I've made my own waves in the past and 
the old way was just so tedious and this looks so much easier so if you do know what you're doing and you want to give it a go you can come here snag the file and uh, in the future I will be making some tutorials on this so hopefully we'll be able to go through it together and uh, experience all of its goodness all right, so now we head on over to the PS4 scene where there's a couple of things starting first here over at Logic Sunrise. There's been an update posted to the PS2 Classics GUI for the PS4. This is for those of you that have a PS4 on 505. This program allows you to convert your PS2 ISOs into fake package files to play on your 505 PS4. You can grab the latest from right here. Then there's been an update to PS4 Explorer, which is a file manager for your PS4. Again, you need to be on 505 for this. And one of the main things here is this allows you to uh, change and mess with the themes a lot easier of the PS4 Explorer itself, not the themes of the PS4. So if you've used this before, make sure that you get the latest update because there's also been some fixes and improvements here and there. All right, so now we head on over to the Switch scene and we're going to try and machine gun our way through these here. Um, first is an update to the SIG patches. These are designed to work with the latest version of Cosmos, which is 15.4. So if you're using that version, make sure you grab these SIG patches here, which are 410 2020 boot config um, <clears throat> tinfoil v8 plus so that it works with that version of cosmos next up is an update to capture site this is again something else i covered this comes in two flavors it can be used as an applet uh, or an overlay it comes in both and this deals with uh, pokemon sword and shield games you can use these uh, the overlay or the um, applet to uh, view Pokemon species, attacks, type matches, uh, in-trade Pokemon, raid Pokemon. And I mean, there's just a whole list of stuff which we've covered before. Make sure you get the latest release from here. This is the applet version and this is the overlay version. Then we have an update to Tegra Explorer, which is something else that I covered. It's a file explorer, but it works a little bit differently because it's injected as a payload when you're in RCM mode and because you do it that way it gives you a little bit uh, more features and options than you would get from your normal file manager that you launch from HB menu and then go to the releases to get the latest one there make sure you read all the instructions and lastly there's an update to NSUSB loader this update primarily focuses only on adding the Italian translation and one little bug fix. You can get the latest update from here. Okay, so a few more things for the Switch here. First is an update to Game Card Installer NX. This is something that I covered, I think, in last week's episode. It's a way to back up your uh, game card straight to your internal storage or your SD card. Again, I covered that before, so you can come here to get the releases. Next up is an update to JKSV, which is a data dump restore tool for the Switch. You can dump and restore save data, system save data, among other things and that's primarily what people use it for there's quite a few people that use this and it seems to be pretty reliable and stable if you want to try it out or get the latest update again go to the releases as well then an update here to retro reloaded is it reload yep reloaded uh, this is something that i covered in a little bit more detail in the past and I've been dying to try this. It's kind of like a Cosmos Hecate type deal, a type manager deal. It comes with a host of options, really slick user interface that's intuitive as well. I really do need to do a tutorial on this. If you're going to try this though, make absolutely sure that you read everything. It does have the English version of the instructions and stuff available here. Come to the releases, read everything that's here as well. It's ultra important. It's not just something you plug and play. Next up is NX Shell, which is a file manager. Actually, this is the one that I pretty much use most of the time. It gets a minor little 
update here, basically just kind of a hot fix type deal. There's the NRO file, and then we have sysdvr, which gets an update as well. So this allows you to capture uh, Switch games directly onto your PC via USB or network. So this is like a streaming type deal. You can stream to your PC via the USB, via your network. You can check the features and limitations here because for example, um, right now quality is fixed at only 720p, but you can do this without a you know separate capture card that you need to buy. So this may come in handy for some people if you wanna give it a try. Again, make sure you read all the instructions and grab the latest release. And lastly, we will wrap things up with another update to DS4 Windows, which is the uh, software that allows you to seamlessly connect your PS4 controller to your PC and use it for various things like gaming and whatnot, or as a mouse is something that I've been using forever. I've covered it before a ton in the past. So you can check out the latest fixes and additions and improvements here and grab the file that best suits you. All right, and that is gonna do it for this week, guys. Sorry we had to kind of go through things so quick, but I don't know, maybe you like this format, let me know and we can continue it where I'll only spend a little bit more time and focus on things that are relatively new or things maybe I haven't talked about in a while. So yeah, just let me know. You know, I just got a message from someone who said that maybe what happened to me was that maybe a small spider crawled into my mouth while I was asleep and maybe bit the back of my throat and that caused it to get inflamed or swelled up. Because you know, in your lifetime, apparently people eat like six to eight spiders without knowing it at night because they, they crawl into your mouth. So yeah, you know, I don't even want to think about that. I, I could do a lot of stuff, but deal with insects, it's not my favorite thing. So I think tonight I'm going to wear a mask to sleep, not because of the virus, but because I don't want any spiders crawling into my mouth. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you as always. And if you found anything here informative, useful, helpful, entertaining, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you know, the best way to do any of the, <clears throat> any of that stuff is just to squish the F out of that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everybody. Be careful, be safe, but have fun. And we will see you on the next one.